Man, madness. Anyway, let's get into it. Straight into it. Straight into it. I want to get straight into it. I want to lead. I want to lead straight into it with this little clip that I found again on the T5K subreddit that I thought was absolutely hilarious. It's this one here. What, 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 wrong, what, wrong, wrong sign I took off. My bad. This one here. So this clip, right? <laughs> I guess it's it's from uh, Trash Tuesdays podcast, which has which features um Mark Marin. Mark Marin's a guest on there, right? And I thought this was pretty brutal, um, personally for me. But I don't know if you guys were reading too much into it as much as I am. But let's just play the clip, and I'll let you know my feelings on the other side. There was just a famous incident on our show where a comic hit on both of them and didn't hit on me. Oh, oh, and oh. so yeah. I'm now the How'd one. How'd that go for that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Not well. <laughs> Things are finally simmering down, yeah. we think. <laughs> oh, my God. We haven't gotten a true lawsuit. So. <laughs> We're not going to court, so that's a good thing. That's yeah. good. So no going outside? No. Yo, I'm not sure about you, but... How would you feel if you worked in an industry, right? Especially an industry like entertainment where everyone's kind of, everyone kind of knows each other, I'd guess at that kind of level, right? Um, Because there's not many people who are making millions and millions of dollars by telling dick jokes on the on stage and talking about stuff they've seen on the news on podcasts and stuff, right? It's a very rarefied group of people that you're surrounded with. Just imagine how bad it must feel for you knowing that you're a professional in this field, regardless of what you think about Brendan Shaw, he's a professional. He's somebody that gets paid to do what he does, so he's a professional. He has, t- he has fans who pay for their tickets to go see him. So he has a fan base. Imagine all of that. So you've got all the things on paper tick- ticked off that would let you believe that you're a professional, that you're one of the boys, you're one of the gang, you're in that crew. But behind your back and sometimes in front of your face, these very same people that are in the same entertainment industry as you, the same sector of entertainment as you, are laughing at you, openly mocking you, openly saying the most derogatory things about you as a person, number one, which I think is is okay to take, I don't think, is that much of a bad thing, you know, sometimes people are just not for you, but then they're also laughing at your work, at your comedy, at your inability to make people laugh, they take the piss out of you on a consistent basis, and I think sometimes, as much as we like to rag on Brendan, we don't give Brendan enough props for that. I think most people couldn't put up with that. I know I couldn't. If I worked in an industry and I knew for sure that people were laughing at me behind my back consistently and they were mocking me as a person, they they had, do you know what I mean? Like they didn't buy it. Like everything I said to them, like it might as well just been hot air. Do you know what I mean? They don't give a shit what you have to say. They think you're crap at what you do. They don't rate you. They don't respect you. All that stuff. I would have given up time ago, bro. Unless it's something that you legitimately think is a vocation or you legitimately think is a calling, just to be doing it as a job to pay for your trainers and to afford your nice cars and to support your family, that takes a lot of... Um, that takes somebody... That takes somebody with a level of, I don't know, <laughs> with a level of putting up with bullshit that I don't, I don't even know is even fathomable. I don't think anybody in their right mind could do it, really legitimately do it. Day, day in, day out, go to work knowing that everyone at work is laughing at them. For sure. Because it's one thing fans. Fans take the piss. They make you into a meme. They, 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 they keep making jokes about you. They make a subreddit. All right, cool. It's mean and it's upsetting. That's one thing. But it's just fans. There's going to be a group of people that don't like you. It's going to be, you know, some people say, yeah, there's going to be good people out there regardless who are going to like you or not like you. And some people would also say, which I don't really agree with, because I think it's a weird, cliche thing, but people sometimes say, oh, you, you've never made it until you've got haters. Some people would say that. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's the case. So you could just be like, oh, it's not that big of a deal if it's just fans. But imagine your actual peers, people in your industry, legitimately laughing at you every single day of the week how that must feel just imagine i don't think we give brendan enough props for how he's able to somehow um not throw himself off of the highest building off the back of that because that would be that would be debilitating for me because part of the it's weird because i think when you're professional in the court like i look at myself in the, in the, as a poor example but i'm a i'm a dj I've been doing it for 10 plus years on a very small scale. But still, in my field, it's not as if like you care about what your peers think, but it's quite nice to know your peers rate you. It's a nice feeling to know, okay, because I'm pretty sure there's famous DJs out there who 
no matter how big the stages are, no matter how big they play in venues and arenas and stuff, if they hear somebody that they idolise doesn't like what they do, it will absolutely break their heart. More so than the fans saying the last EP was shit. I'd imagine the same thing with comedians. Like, if you grew up being, you know, idolising somebody like fucking Jerry Seinfeld and you found out that he thinks you're not funny in the slightest... <laughs> <laughs> and he thinks you're an absolute cancer to the comedy community, you you probably wouldn't be able to get up from bed in the morning. I wouldn't blame you. So the fact that Brendan does, we should give him more credit for that. I honestly do think he deserves more credit for being able to just wake up in the morning and just keep doing what he's doing, despite you know knowing full well that no one in his community actually rates what he does. It's an absolute mad situation to be in, to be honest. But <laughs> people say, yeah, Shul is mentally ill. That's one excuse, so that's one reason for it, isn't it? That's one reason. Um, Dax say, otherwise he's a le legit the biggest narcissist. Yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> no, look, Quave is honestly, Quave said if if Paulie D didn't like your work, you would be crushed. No, for sure. I'm not even lying. If I rated Paulie D and he was legitimately my idol, and I thought Paulie D's business acumen, the way he carries himself, how he's a family man, he looks after his friends. If he legitimately thought I was shit and didn't rate what I did. I will be heartbroken, especially if I liked him as a person. Forget just DJing. If I liked him as a person too, I will be distraught if that, if flipping um, um, DJ Paul D didn't like me. I'll be like, come on, man. Come on, man. But yeah, so um, that must be brutal. I saw that clip. I was like, bloody hell, man, because I know how much uh, Brendan likes to suck off Mark Mar Mark Marion and pretend like he listens to the podcast, um, which I, he obviously doesn't. But well, regardless, um, you know, that must be brutal. It really, really does must be brutal. Someone was saying it doesn't affect Brendan because he didn't corrupt. I'd like to stand on comedians. Yeah, that's true. I, I I do believe that. I'm I am a believer of that conspiracy theory that he just made up this origin story in order to kind of perpetuate this idea that he's, he's always going to be a stand-up. It's not true. I think he always went to be a professional athlete. He's obviously built for it. He obviously looks like an NFL player, but it just didn't work out. And um, since that since that didn't work out, he tried to create this new persona, this comedian guy, um, which probably explains why he's not so funny. But I still think regardless if he wasn't, you know, he didn't grow up exactly idolizing these guys when he was a teenager. The fact that he's now in the business, he knows about their financials, he knows about the legendary stories of them behind the scenes, all this sort of stuff that he cares about. For sure, if he heard someone that he newly became infatuated with didn't like him, he would still be upset. He would still be distraught, man. Come on. Let's be uh let's be real. Let's be real here for a second. 